What is going on guys? Uh, you know, I, I'm trying to lose the last 10 pounds of body fat. You know, I've been dieting and I'm almost just there, you know, just 10 pounds more to lose. And I want to apologize. You know, I'm trying to share you guys some tips that I think can help you lose, you know, the last 10 pounds if you're struggling with that or if you just want to lose 10 pounds coming this month. And these are some tips that always help me out. And hopefully guys that it could motivate you to, you know, get a head start and, you know, get it done. I, you know, I know a lot of us have a short attention span, so I don't know if you guys are gonna finish, you know, the whole video. So I do apologize that it's not, you know, fast paced and, you know, uh, a lot of cuts. Uh, but you know, you just want to keep things simple. You know, uh, many people they think that you have to make some big, dramatic things, like, in order to, you know, burn fat in general. You know, even if it's just a little bit, or like the last ten pounds. You know, you have to sprint a marathon. You have to do this and that. Uh, but you know. I still remember like yesterday when I was doing my 2015 cut, you know, I, somebody asked me, yo, how you get so shredded? You look peeled. And I was like, I walk. He's like, what? He didn't really listen to me. He thought I was bullshitting, didn't believe me. And yeah, it's just, I've been walking as you guys, uh, the, those that saw the earlier vlogs, you know, starting June when I, when I came back to YouTube, you know, I started, you know, just walking. First, I started off with 30 minutes a day, and then I, I slowly increased it into just one hour. Having gone beyond one hour, just the fact that it's not needed. It's as if, like, if you have to do more than one hour of cardio, that means you're overeating. Uh, you know, you could diet on, you know, 2,000, 2,200 calories, walk an hour a day, you know, between the speeds of 2.5 to 3. I some days walk 3, and if I feel like I'm a little tired, maybe I'll do like 2.5. So, you know, I just want to motivate you guys, like, if you're struggling, because, like, you spend a lot of time on Instagram, right? If you check your, you know, your phone, you're sitting down on the couch and you're scrolling left, right? And some people spend four hours, probably even more. Uh, this is time that you could set up the phone on the treadmill and just, like, walk. Just walk 2.5. You can make your phone calls. You can answer your emails. You can keep it so simple and so effective. And this alone will get everything going, you know, to motivate you. Don't be waiting on the perfect day to start, man. Like, uh, I know a lot of you, my subscribers, you know, I, since I came back, you guys, uh, you know, messaging me and telling me you lost motivation. And I'm really sorry to hear that, guys. You know, I try to do better and, uh, you know, keep posting. Uh, but definitely don't give up and start small, man. Like, walking is something that you could do for your entire life. It's not very strenuous. It's not going to kick your ass. I'm not saying that you shouldn't be running or anything. Like if you are an athlete and you want to run, it makes you feel better. Definitely go for a run. But in my situation, you know, I came back from an injury at work, which, you know, led to a shoulder injury. Of course, you know, my wrist got broken and I had, you know, nails and everything on it. And my knee took a, a pretty good bang on it as well. Uh, and walking is helping me strengthen everything. You know, everything in my body is helping me burn extra calories. Uh, you know, I'm not beating myself up and I'm getting stronger on a cut. So, you know, that's that's a plus. If you're getting stronger on a cut, that means you're eating right. You're eating, you know, the right, the right foods. And mostly like what I'm eating now, guys, is for breakfast, I always keep it light. You know, just two eggs, you know, some sweet potatoes or platin, Dominican thing. If you know the Dominicans in here, you know, you know what's up. Uh, depending on the day, you know, I, I vary it and, you know, of course my chicken and rice can't go wrong with chicken or rice. It, it just makes the tummy feel good if you respond to it, but you know, you can also try ground beef, salmon, things like that, fish, uh, you know, canoa. There's a whole bunch of different things you could try and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter like what diet you're doing. You know, a lot of people have competitions over diets, you know, no, this one's better, that one's better, but at the end of the day. If you're overeating in calories, you're not gonna lose those 10 pounds that you wanna lose. You're not gonna lose, uh, like if you're very lean already and you're trying to get like peeled, you're not gonna lose those 10 pounds if you're overeating. You know, uh, and some people like they'll do more cardio, but then they get so tired that they end up eating more. So it's, you know, it's like, it's not gonna work that way. You have to be in a caloric deficit. So like even if you're doing more cardio, don't eat more. The whole point is, you know, for you to just be in a caloric deficit, just burn a little bit extra. And a good way to tell, of course, is, you know, weight yourself and, you know, keep a track of your progress. Uh, and of course, be patient, man. Like, you have to be very patient and try to write your daily goals down. You know, I know this might sound silly, but like if uh, whoever's watching it, you know, right now, if you're not writing down 
at least what is your main goal for the end of this month if your main goal is just you know oh i want to lose 10 pounds you know what is going to get you there you try adding like daily goals you know something i started doing you know like my daily goal is you know to make better youtube videos so i started you know reading books on uh how to create better youtube videos and you know slowly working on it you know i'm not the best i mean it's gonna take some time but like for me to make better youtube videos i have to be better you know as far as my training goes as far as my conditioning you know uh you know the image that i put out there says vol you know speaks volume and so far you know i'm I'm coming back pretty strong and I, you know i'm gonna keep uh i'm gonna keep doing that and motivate you guys uh that are watching you know slowly it's just don't think about you know making big big dramatic moves in your diet uh zero carbs Arr, come on i got this and then you end up having these crazy i'm talking about these crazy urges and then he's like nah this is not possible i can't i can't do this and then you you crash and later on you want to start all over again and you keep doing the same thing try doing more balance like when you're gonna work out you want to have the best workout possible i've seen this so many times where people just go in with a protein shake you know 120 calories and it's like yo i'm getting weaker man like i was hitting 225 for 20 reps now i can't even do 20 25 and because they're only on a protein shake and they're on a, a, a very low calories like if you're gonna go work out you have to be training like you're bulking right so like something i like to do personally is total this total calories that are gonna you know determine whether you lose the fat or not so i like to eat you know a pbj sandwich sometimes i like to add half a muffin i like to you know uh maybe drink a little bit of juice you know uh, some apple juice or any kind of juice that, that i could find that way when i go and hey, don't forget the coffee either you gotta have the coffee man uh you know have some coffee and i go supercharged or a pre-workout uh you know sometimes i have a pre-workout not I, recently i haven't needed it but you know probably when i lose these 10 last uh pounds of body fat probably i would start using a pre-workout just to give me that extra edge uh because if you go in like if you go on a war man world war three in that gym and you're gonna get so much more strength like you're gonna get so much more strength in that workout that you're gonna put output you're gonna burn more calories you're gonna give your muscles a reason to stay you know you stay there man don't go and that's how you see progress that's how you maintain your strength that's how you maintain most of your muscles and a big mistake that i did in 2015 when i competed damn time is just flying by guys uh i got burned out man i was why i was following these unnatural athletes which is nothing wrong being unnatural it's just that when they put out that Either they don't say me anything and you try to like do what they're doing i try to do three shows man three shows in one year naturally and that just took a toll on my body i felt so burned out like if you're natural try doing just one solid cut a year uh you could but like once you're done once you you know burn off all that fat reverse diet take your diet slowly you know build that weight back up and don't try to you know just keep dieting and dieting and like a lot of you know unnatural athletes do it no disrespect to anybody who's taking steroids you know thank you guys for you know in sport that are you know doing it competitively it makes the sport very interesting and uh, you know i look up to those guys but like if somebody's advertising that you could do this uh naturally you know cut 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 man it takes a toll on your body naturally just the fact that you don't have anything supporting those muscles and you know that's what happened to me in 2015 so you know avoid that mistake if you lose like the last 10 pounds of body fat take it easy after that you know just build up your strength go back into bulking after at least three to four months and maybe you could just do like a little tightening diet things like that but you definitely want to you know avoid uh constantly being on a, on a shredded shredded diet it's just gonna kill you man like, like I, I i'm looking back at my videos and i'm learning you know mistakes that i made in the past that way i make you know better content better information for you guys that way it could lead into better results you know uh so yeah like if you could start today man because like every day that passes is just another day further away from your goal like every day that like today passes you don't walk your 30 minutes that's a day lost uh, you know tomorrow happens you, you don't walk your 30 30 minutes to an hour that's another day you lost uh but if you try it you write down your daily goals today you know today i want to walk one hour you know slow speed you know do your things answer your emails whatever you need to do uh, you know, stay on the phone with whoever you need to talk to and, you know, get things done throughout the day right on the treadmill instead of just sitting on the couch and, you know, laying down. 
Uh, but anyways, I don't want to make this video too long, but like if you want to just, you know, you can listen to this video, you know, while you do your cardio uh, to motivate you. Hopefully this motivates you guys. I'll be bringing, I'm going to try to make more videos often, you know, even though they're short. But, you know, I know a lot of you guys need a little extra push. And if it helps you, uh, you know, definitely comment below, guys. Give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys next time. Hold on to the channel.